day one in kisumu i did not do much as i mentioned on my previous episode i just dropped my bags and went to dunga hill anyway this is the hotel where i slept in and this hotel is called we got we got i understand mean means the mountains and this hotel looks so simple from outside wait until you do this tour with me we walked with this amazing amazing man he showed me different different places around the hotel but now let me take you around the hotel so you can understand why i'm saying this is the right hotel to sleep in kisumu because it's not in town especially for people who do not like the setup in the city trust me this is the best hotel for you to sleep on you can say that it looks like it was built quite some times ago but let me tell you what you're gonna see inside you will not regret sleeping here anyway so we walked with this person who was very kind with me and he took me round and round and round and we experienced every part of this hotel from the outside and right now i'm headed to my tented room Voila, this is very, very amazing. Frankly speaking, I think this is the only hotel in Kisumu that has tented rooms. I was scared of the fact that there will be so many mosquitoes and it will be too hot. But let me tell you, there was nothing like that. Because I remember when booking this hotel, I kept on asking, do you guys have a fan in the tented rooms? Do you guys have a, an AC? I kept on asking that. And let me tell you, they have a fan, but I didn't use it because it was very, very cozy and cold. I know it looks dark, but let me tell you, my experience was really, really nice. I liked the but the environment i mean <sighs> i was so happy because it was value for every dime i spent here and then look at the walk now to the pool which i tell you blew my mind because one thing i noticed about the pool is that the pool is more like a, a a floated pool or should how should i call it uh many people say it's infinity pool but the view from the pool that's what i want to show you the view from the pool is what blew my mind the view is just the whole city of of kisomo and guys who 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 didn't want that while swimming so anyway i experienced the swimming pool the next day so this day i just did the hotel tour and i saw my room because as i mentioned on my previous episode i went to experience the night the beautiful night and the fancy night of kisumu dala after the fun nightlife of Kisumu City with amazing people that I do not do much of their videos, I went back to my hotel room and took a shower but I did not manage to do a lot of the recording of my bathroom because my bathroom blew up my mind. I decided to record the bathroom the next day and here is the video of the beautiful bathroom. Don't know what's wrong Something isn't right I feel I belong in the light Passion is... And I had a lot of fun in it. Anyway, thank you so much for watching my second episode of Kisumu Dala. Uh, the third episode will be more of the next room and what I did on day two and uh, what where you should eat fish. There's so much on episode three of this Kisumu Dala trip. But thank you so much for always watching my videos and always appreciating me. I don't take it for granted. All I can say is God bless you all. Enjoy the rest of the video. Bye-bye.
light Passion has gone And love's taken flight Things just feel heavy